We're at Daybreak South Station and just leaving. You can see one of the signs over there. This is a red line train. Um, it's Wednesday, August 3rd, 2011. This is a red line train that will be headed toward the university. I'll be getting off at the University Medical Center. And of course, you can see. You can possibly see over there they have a bunch of activities. Um, they have these little fold up trains you can put together. I got six for my family. You see the inside of the train here. This is a Siemens S70. Well, it's made by the German manufacturer Siemens. Um, we are on 1133B. East side, this is train number 39 on the red line. And you can see the sign over here. Did you show them both your nails? Sign says UTA ready green lines open for service August 7th. Enjoy today's sneak preview. And it looks like we're moving. You can see the train coming from the university, red line as well, approaching us. We're going to be switching tracks onto the right side before it arrives. Like so. Next station, South Jordan Parkway, 106 South. It's stopped to let the switch switch back into place. That's my plan. Is it? get on YouTube, yeah. <laughs> you know, document to my friends. I have proof I wrote on the first day. There you go. <laughs> That's amazing. And we're off. Our current speed is 45 miles an hour. Uh, just hit 50 miles an hour. You can also see, I'll uh, show these in more detail later, but instead of using rear view mirrors, they have rear view cameras. So there's actually these little screens on either side of the train in front with cameras pointing backwards. Uh, maps are available at rideuta.com for this train line. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but this is in Salt Lake City, Utah. On the first day of public operation of the red and green lines, the branches of the track system going out to Daybreak and West Jordan. Now we're arriving at the next station, uh, Daybreak North. South Jordan Parkway. 106 South. That was a mistaken announcement. This is actually Daybreak North. However, the station is not in service right now because it apparently has not been fully constructed yet. Um, and that's why we didn't stop. So we'll be stopping at the next station. Next station, 56 West, Old Bingham Highway. Here's the first station we're arriving at. Fifty-six West, Old Bingham Highway. Yeah, he owned, he 
a huge piece of property for us there. And then he had to sell it. You can see the console right there. It's a lot more advanced. That shows the speed or the, the current speed. There are some more controls to show the doors are open, etc. You can also see the reflection of some numbers in the mirror. Those are those numbers there, except the number one is translated into a color. The code is one is red, two is green, three is blue, four is yellow. Orange, purple, pink, gray, and nine is off, no color display. Those are used to show the color of the line that the train represents. There's also a display on the front of the train that says the name of the line, abbreviated to three characters, and which station, it, or which, yeah, which end of the line is headed towards. You can also see the little green display in the center right there. Um, that controls the announcements that you're hearing frequently. Those are done completely automatically. On occasion when they don't work, the train driver has to control them manually, but under normal circumstances, the announcements are completely automatic. They take care of themselves. I'm planning on sending an email to UTA sometime this week asking them how exactly they do that. I don't know what technology they use to detect where the train is. You may or may not be able to see, but there's sound barriers on our right. Those were a source of controversy a few months ago when the sound barriers prevented two teenagers from seeing a train approaching on the rails and so they walked in front of the train. One of them was killed and since then they have removed the sound barriers near crosswalks. They've also put in gates to make it more visible to pedestrians that they should look both ways because a train may approach, be approaching from either direction. So if we did a race that train, yeah, we're going to ride it yeah. 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 48th West, Old Bingham Highway. For reference, I have my camera wedged between the headrest of the second to right frontmost seat in the train and the glass separating those seats from the driver's cabin. Next station, Jordan Valley, 32nd West. This train is currently going 60 miles an hour. It's now going 63, 64, 65. So the train is at 65 miles an hour. Um, it's slowing down now, so we're approaching a series of crosswalks. These trains can go up to 65 miles an hour. If you let them go faster than that, if you're a driver and you let them go uh, a bit faster than that, for a long enough period of time, they'll shut themselves down under the assumption that you've fallen asleep and are coasting down a hill or some sort of thing. There's another train, another red line train going toward daybreak approaching us. You can probably see it. You may notice these places where there's rails 
in the middle of the rails that the train runs on that just appear around bridges. Those are in case of derailment. If the train derails, those are intended to provide additional support to try and keep it near the middle of the tracks. They have those on bridges and associated places where a train drifting way off the tracks Jordan in response Valley. to derailment would cause a large amount of damage. On the green line to West Valley, similar rails appear on some bridges that they have to prevent the trains falling off the bridges in the event of derailment. Checking the battery really quick. Next station, 27th West, Sugar Factory Road. Please allow seniors and persons with disabilities to use designated seating. Seventh West, Sugar Factory Road. It's currently eight oh five PM and seventeen seconds. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, City Center, Redwood Road. There are two more stations after this, uh, namely Historic Gardener and Bingham Junction. The one after that is Fashion Place West, that's where we join the main track system. 
that's been operating since before this line was open. We then follow the path of the former Green Line, um, which is toward downtown Salt Lake City until we get to Central Point Station, at which point we turn east and go along the former University Line up to the University Medical Center. And the Medical Center is where I'll be getting off. If my phone has enough battery, I'll video all the way up until there. If it doesn't, I will stop sometime after we get back onto the main track system. Also, at some point, I'm going to be making a video with no commentary, just straight from one end of the line to the other end of the line for all of the three lines in both Next directions. Station. I'll post those on YouTube as soon as I get them done. Please consider others. Do not put your feet on the seat. Yeah, let's do that. Another red line train waiting in this station. Train number 32. <laughs> Historic um, Gardner. The front car is 1132A. Middle car is 1152A. Back car is 1130B. Of that other one. We're currently riding in car 1133B. You can see those guardrails in the middle of the tracks I was talking about before. They're present here because we go over um, a string of bridges from here to the next stop, and so this guardrail that you'll see in the tracks is actually going to be present all the way from here to the next station, which is Bingham Junction. Down the hill, and there's a Right up here, and down here. Go back This is all. Yeah, right. This is downhill from our house. But then it's uphill from back, but you can get off. Yeah. Next station, Beagle Junction, 9 West. Yeah. Maybe on this side. Yeah. It is on this side. Another guardrail joins us on the right of the tracks. Now they both disappear. But they just keep putting all of them going down. Look how close they are. Sorry. I'm amazed. And sure enough, here's the next station, so we can jump. The last one before we hit the main track. Yeah, exactly. This station is so named because it sits on Bingham Junction Boulevard. Bingham Junction, Ninth West. Next station, Fashion Place West, 64th South.
Trash receptacles are located on every track's platform. Please take your trash with you when exiting the train. If you've watched any of my former videos on tracks, you know that I do not like those. I don't like the next pedal with the hair thing in the car. Fashion Place West, 64th South. So we're on the normal track sign now. I'm going to video one more station to Murray Central. And I'll end the video. Central, 50 seconds south. This is a red line train to the University of Train up 
approaching to our left is the Siemens SD100. It's a blue line train. Murray Central, 52nd South. Yeah, We're arriving at Murray Central. This is the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Once again, I view the controls. That's all, folks.